Hello guys and welcome back. In today's video I'll be bringing you the patch notes preview coming this uh, Thursday, so in two days. So we have two new heroes, one legendary, one epic. You already saw it in, in official discord, so I will not go over their skills. So we have event news. So we, we got Miracle Wishes up, heroes from January 5th. January 8th and the heroes are Fuxian, Adeline, Lysander, Ronai and Elik which are good heroes, especially Adeline if you need her for Woodring Coast, Lysander also for Woodring Coast and Faction Abyss, Ronai for Faction Abyss and PvP, Elik for Faction Abyss and PvP and Fuxian is so I read a little bit of his skills, he seems like a decent support and he got revive. So if someone dies he can revive them, so that's good. And when it comes to new epic hero I did not read anything about him. Bistin is okay, Harsent, I have no idea who that is. And Gert Gertrude is also a decent epic hero from Sword Herb Herbert faction. <coughs> so. Now that being said, we have uh, new features. So first, added current uh, activable divinity power card market to endless cluster. Adventures can con consume endless keys to get divine power shards, which can be used to obtain divine power cards. The purchase cards are owned permanently. <laughs> All right, so that's good. We will th those cards will be owned permanently. Which is good. We'll, we will not need to write, like farm it again. Also, those that we purchased through the market. And now the something big, or I mean, I would say something bit big. But look at this: the championship now has four divisions based on the time of opening. So it will have four divisions: uh, novice division, trial division. Master Division and Ultimate Division. Uh, the top six, uh, 64 of Classic Arena will enter the Novice Division. Uh, Alright, so top 64 is all you need. And as of other three divisions, top 64 will be decided through matches bets of Championship Regular contest so nothing changes so novice division is server time open less than a month trial division server open time between one month and three months master division server time open between four months and six months and then ultimate division is everyone who is on server older than six months then we have added an easy mode to broken land Take all fortresses to unlock hard mode. There are different rankings under different modes. Oh damn, so we're gonna have easy broken land mode and hard. So I guess... I guess that what we have right now will most likely be easy mode and they will add hard mode after that. That's what I'm thinking. But yeah, it will, so those who enjoy Broken Land will have more fun, and those who do not enjoy it will just hate it even more, so yeah. Uh, then 4 added a popular hero list to wish system. Adventurers can check uh, heroes' usage rates in different dungeons. <coughs> in PvP dungeons, heroes', heroes win rates are also displayed, so now we'll see like, who is pre ho performing how. And uh, now <coughs> let's go to the feature adjustment and that is most of those are from for endless cluster. So adjust the rules for divine power to take effect. Only three divine power can be activated in each session. So can there have effects and set effects. Alright, so the unactivated divine power cards and set skills won't take effect. Alright. Second, no divine power card will be dropped after the stage clearance in the endless cluster. 
So like when we kill Neja, we will not get any of those cards. Uh, and now last thing here, now the multi battle in Endless Cluster is available while adventurers are offline. Adventurers can check their drops after logging in again. Alright, so this is good, we don't need to like be online to, to farm like Endless. And now, what else do we have? Um, Alright, so second, added a quick upgrade button to the upgrade interface of talent system. So we will be able to cl yeah, but we need like. I will see how will this work actually. So will it go into random thing or like how will this go? Quick upgrade button. Then op optimized elemental city rules added the display of special stages, clearing status to the main screen. Optimized display rules of the current location, the main screen. Alright, so that was it. And then last thing is for guild. So added buttons to check guild rankings to recruit to recruit channel and the main screen of the guild. Optimize the player info rules. We have optimized the champion display of championship, added the ranking display of fair arena, and last thing is change the sorting button to to filter button in the hero pack. So yeah, I'm I'm really excited about about those like new divisions in championship. We'll see how will this go. And I'm also curious to see about those divine power cards and stuff in Endless Cluster. How will this play out? And other than that, nothing really big coming this week. So, yeah guys, that was it for today's video and I will see you guys in the next one.